Hi, in today's video we're going to add search functionality to the CRM. So as you can see here, if I try to search for test, I will only get company with the name test in their name. And I can also search for John, which will give me the same thing because the contact person is John. If I remove this, you can see this. If I search for Tim, I will only get contact person Tim. Great. And we will also add some simple pagination. If I just go back to the code, just want to show you. If I change the page size to two, refresh. You see here, I can go to the next page, back again. And when you go to the end, the next button is gone. So let's begin with the first task, which is add pagination to the leads page. So on this page, I want to go have a next and previous button. So the first thing we need to do then is to go to the code and find the views on leads. So here. The first thing I want to do here is to import pagination from the REST framework. From REST framework dot pagination import page number pagination. And then I want to create a separate class for the lead pagination class lead pagination and then we pass in the class we're going to use there and I want to set the page size to 2 you can increase this later it's just for testing since I just have a few leads for now and then I can just set here pagination class equals lead pagination save and if I now go back and refresh I get an error okay I think it's because the data has changed a little bit so if I find leads.view just want to run a console log on the data we get okay I already done that there so here now data.results response.data.results fresh and now we have two of these perfect and then as you can see here I also know what the next URL is supposed to be not there but if I say console.log result response.data.next then I know what the next URL is supposed to be there just to go to page 2 great the next step now is to go to page 2 if there are a page 2 so I want to add a show next button set this default to false and show previous button also default it to false and then in here we can check that if response.data.next then, then we know that we get a next page from the back end this dot show next button equals true and the same with previous so if response.data.previous then show previous button is true and if I do this now, console.log response.data, you will see here that we have a count of five and we have a next. This shows the URLs, but the previous is set to null. So now we will get the next button. If I scroll up and below the table, I can say div class buttons button class button is light v if show next button next so if you want to show this button this needs to be true so if i go back now we have a next button but it's not working so i need to fix that now and at click go to next page and then we need to create this function 
async this dot current page plus equals one and then we call this dot get leads again like that this does not need to be a sync, sorry. But we need to add the current page up here. And the current page is one. So then I can save. And we need to pass in the page here as well. So if I change these to backticks, so I can pass in a variable here. Page equals this dot current page so we can pass this in even if it's are still just on page one so refresh now and if i now click this we will go to page two if I click one more time we get this but now this is still showing and that's not correct and that is because on the top of get leads i should say this dot show next button is false and this dot show previous button equals false because we want to reset these every time so then i can make a function for go to previous page previous page and here we can just say this dot current page minus equals one and this dot get leads then we can just make a simple copy of this button go to previous page and we only want to this if show previous button and change the text to previous and save if i now go to the next page we'll get the previous button there but i want this to be on the other side of course like that so now I go there the next button is gone if I go back now okay this dot go to previous page little typo then I can go back and when I come to the first page the previous button is gone perfect so now we have pagination on the leads page and I can set this to done but before I forget it, I just want to increase this to 10, which is a much better number to work with instead of 2. So then we just need to do the same for the client's page. So if I copy this, scroll up to client, paste it at the top here, and then I want to import the pagination here as well from rest framework dot pagination import page number pagination change this to client pagination and then we can just say pagination class equals client pagination we can set this to one so we can test it here as well so if i now go to clients don't have any clients that's because of the same error I think so I need to find client.view clients sorry and instead of saying this dot clients or smooth dot data we said this or smooth data dot results so now we have one client there but we need to add the next and previous button again I can make a little bit copy of some of the code so we can copy these three go back to clients paste them in the data array and we can copy these two methods and paste them here but we need to change this to get clients like that and then I need to convert this to backticks so we can pass in the variable page equals this dot current page 
Um, I also need to do some changes in here because I need to reset these two buttons. And then last but not least, do this. So we show them based on if there are a next and previous page. And the last thing you need to copy is the buttons. So below the table, paste it, save and refresh. Now we can go to the next and previous because I only have two clients. But the pagination there is also working. Perfect. So let me set this to done. Before I continue, I just want to say thanks to my Patreons. If you too want to support me, you will find a link to my Patreon in the description below. And then the next step now is to add search to the leads. So inside leads here, below here, I want to have a search bar. So we can begin with that. So if I go back to leads, then here add lead to add HR form dev class field has add on add-ons maybe dev class control input type text and this is class input close the div and then we need to have a button control button class button is light search close it close the div Close that div and close the form. Now we can check if I did correct. Yes, it seems to be correct, but we can have a different color success, for example. Great. So now we have that search thing there, but we need to connect the field to the data array down here. So we can say v model query. Then we need to add that here, query, set it default to empty. And when we submit this form, we want to call a function or a method. So v or at on dot prevent, because we don't want to submit the form to the browser. Submit form. But this is not correct. Um, this is how you write it at submit.prevent. Sorry, just paste it there. Then we can copy the submit form and create that method. Like that. Console.log. Just want to check the query. This dot query and save. I refresh now and I want to search for Apple. You see here down here that we are trying to search for Apple. Great. So then we just need to send this in to the back end. And I can do that as well by using the get leads functionality. So what I can do then is to say this dot get leads and a pair in the same pages here I can say and equals search sorry search equals and then we can pass in this dot query because if it's now empty it won't give any results I think we can try this out just to refresh. Yes, we get still get that from the back end. So I just want to go to the back end now and activate the search. So find views.py in the leads page. And I need to import here with the view sets filters from Django or Django REST framework. And in the lead view set, I need to set something called a filter backends equals 
filters dot search filter. So now I can use search and this is going to expect a keyword called search. And then I need to define what to search for. So search fields equals company and I also want to search in contact person. These two are fields from here. You can search and add these if you want to. I just do this for testing now. And save, refresh, and we get everything here now, probably because this is empty. But if I search Apple now, I only get Apple back. Great. If I search A, I get all of these five. And if I search test, I only get test company. Perfect. So that's everything we needed for the search. So this is something called built, this is built in into Django REST framework. And what we did here in the front end is just pass in a keyword or parameter called search in the get. And then we just pass in whatever we are typing in here. So now I can set this task to done. And then I just want to do the exact same thing for the clients. So here I can copy these two fields and find the views.py there, paste it here. But here I don't have a company, so I need to use name and I need to import filters up here. Save. So that's everything we need to do in the backend. It's so easy to add search like this. So then it's just the same changes in the front end. And actually when I think about it, I can just remove this submit form button. And instead up here where we are searching, I can just say get leads. Like that. And I can make a copy of this little thing. Go to the client's page, start adding it here as well. So append that there. We can append the query here. Like that. And then we just need to add the search bar here as well. So copy this. Go back to clients, save, not get leads, but get clients, save, refresh, go to clients, and now this is there. If I search client, I only get one, and if I search Apple, I get the other one. Perfect. But before I forget it, I just need to change this to 10. So if we now refresh, remove the search, we get all of the clients in my list. Perfect. So now we have search functionality in our app. Great. And that was it for today. In the next part of this series, we're going to start implementing the plans limitations. So you only have five clients and leads when you're on a free plan, and this will increase when you're on a bigger plan. And I'll also do some more work with the plans. If you have any questions about today's code, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll answer as soon as I can. See you in the next video.